Well, Mark, the game called off early today, about an hour to go. Uh, hour gone, rather. What's your take on the game today? Yeah, I think there was. It was never in question where it was going to called off. I think when Kinsella flew past me, luckily my assistant broke his uh, slide off the pitch. Otherwise, he would have been into the metal, into the dugout. Uh, but yeah, it was completely unplayable the pitch. Which you know, I got a feel for my, my counterpart. Feel they'd obviously got themselves into a, a two-goal lead. Um, calls for our own our own errors, which is good because that's fixable. Um, pitch played a part in probably the second one where the ball, Giles didn't know he was going to skid or jump or what, and it's just caught his hand. Um, and again, I thought we volleyed that clear. Obviously gave a penalty for a high foot, um, a difficult one. And we were very unlucky not to get a penalty down the other end as well. So we've had to show a lot of resilience today. Um, but for, for me, it was a, a really good training session. That's ultimately what it was out there today. So it's another chance for us to see the players. Um, we, Rex imposed a lot of questions of us, ones that we stood up to on the whole. A couple of times we were a bit sloppy in possession. Um, you know, And like I said, we we're masters of our own downfall a little bit at times. But on the flip side, we did... Um, you know, get into ourselves, into our rhythm at times. We showed what great potential we have with some some good football. We just got to really commit to that and believe in that because um, that was our best passages of play come from that. Talk about the good football as well, and obviously it's difficult with the weather. Did that affect the game plan going into it? Was that a weird that an influence it at all? Um, not probably first of all, but as soon as you got out there and the rain kept coming, you could see that players were probably a little bit hesitant to come in and receive the ball in short positions because you didn't know where the role was going to go and as the game went on it progressively got worse um, but you know, having said that um, you know we've come out of it uns well I'd say we've come unscathed we haven't we've picked up two ourselves which is a re real frustration and, and I have to feel sorry for them as well they, you know they've picked up two bad injuries by the looks of it and again it's from miscontrol skiddy pitch rain I think all of them were probably over exuberance where people were just chasing after a skiddy football so um, the right call was done at the end I just feel for my counterpart obviously they'd got themselves into a lead and they've lost two valuable players of course there was a bit of a worry for us as well obviously it was Jacob who came off midway through the first half Jaden you know was come off at half time what was the thing behind those and how they're both okay um, yeah Achipong unfortunately he's got um, overstretched again chasing sk uh, skiddy ball not quite realising where, where it's going to go um, and then unfortunately Jaden just opened up his head a little bit had a bit of a cut which we need to, to sort out so um, you know we had to take him off at half time of course looking at the game there was moments where you could you know you'd had another week with training with him and you could see that some of the passages of play some of the like the positions on the pitch you know the influence you're starting to have was starting to come along to the players and really starting to show what they can do you can definitely see the potential in the group at times and when they click in you, it's um, you know it's a, a joy to watch and I think they're enjoying it but it's up to us to keep working hard keep keep getting better it's going to be the same message from me um, but also build that belief because when we believed in it and committed to it it made a real big difference in our in our afternoon's football but um, when we sort of come away from what we've been working on and what we're good at um, that's when we probably cause ourselves a few problems but look it's still teething problems it's still early on um, it's still assessment mode but I've loved every minute working with them players so far and if they continue to show that attitude and application we're only going to get better. Of course two new players joined this match day squad with James and Callum coming in you know, how first how they settled into the group and what was the thing behind those signings? Yeah, obviously uh, Ven in Veno was um, yesterday, so we only saw him for the first time today. So, um, you know, we've done quite a bit of work this week. So we saw him in the second half briefly. Um, he was the one with a rubber ring on and uh, the armbands. But, um, you know, we're looking forward to seeing him a little bit more. Um, he was a, he's a technical player. You, you wouldn't have seen that out there in the five, ten minutes that he did play because I don't think anyone was playing any short passes into midfield with the, with the puddles. But, um, yeah, excited to see how he flourishes here. It's going to be a good experience for him and he's got good technical ability. And also the young goalkeeper um, where we've got our other young goalkeeper coming back from an injury. Um, that gives us, um, you know, a bit of strength in depth in our goalkeeping department as well. Of course, ultimately, both positions, midfield and goalkeeper, are somewhere that you need competition to perform to your best. And, you know, those two coming in will only help the players that are on the pitch already as well. Yeah, absolutely. We're looking to improve everyone, to improve everyone. A bit of healthy competition always helps. Um, we're also looking to build the, the next generation coming through as well and start working with those younger players and get them in and around us. And, um, you know, the young goalie certainly fits that bill. Uh, Veno coming in and getting his experience into a young group, so he won't be out of place. But, like I said, there's plenty of... Um, you know, another big learning curve for us this week. Um, we've got to keep 
being brutal with ourselves to, to wanting to, to improve and we've learnt some valuable lessons out there today um, and against a very good Wrexham side and um, you know we can take some real positives from it that when we click into gear uh, we, can, we can be a very good side um, and then as you know like I said there's a certain areas that we'll, we'll look at and, and, and improve and we'll, we'll improve quickly. Of course, more details about the rearranged game for this one will be announced soon, but looking more importantly to our next game, is Dover away. It's a team that obviously are struggling like us at the minute, but a chance to get some points on the board and hopefully get a good result. Every, every, every game is a chance to get points on board. We prepare to win every game, same as Tuesday. Um, we'll, we'll take the learning that we've learnt today and, and, and apply it on Tuesday as quick as we can. We've got to be quick learners. Um, this group, I said last week, you know, I haven't changed my mind on them one bit. Um, they want to learn, they want to get better. Um, it's now going to be keep working hard in training and, and get that belief amongst the group because they show when they um, click in that they, um, you know, what good potential they've got. But we've got to start realising that potential now. We're not in pre season, we're in the middle of the season, and um, we, we've got to make sure that we um, get them points on board as quick as we can. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.